Okay, quick claw hammer lesson. You need a re-entrant tuning, so a ukulele with a high G. Really important, otherwise you won't really be able to achieve it. If you've got a low G, I've got a, a claw hammer cheat video um, which, which can use low G, but for now, high G. Okay, so make your hand into a claw, that's why it's called claw hammer. Okay, and you're not going to deviate from from that shape. Really important. Okay, and we're going to place our thumb on the top string, on the G string. Okay, the only action we're going to do with these fingers is down flicks. Okay, and the only variation is on how many strings you're doing at any given time. Okay, the only thing you're going to do with your thumb is a you're going to pull it pull the string off okay but you're gonna do that without thinking because every time you move your your hand and these fingers afterwards okay your thumb's gonna fall down and, and pluck the G string okay so the basic claw hammer technique is um, don't worry about any chords now just for the minute we're gonna go down on the A string by plucking down with your first finger. Okay. And then secondly, we're gonna go down on the bottom three strings, or the top three strings. Okay. And as soon as we've done that, you'll notice my thumb comes down. We're gonna pull off. Okay, so it should sound like this. Okay, so how does that work with your right hand? Well, the right hand's really important because on its own, um, although it keeps time quite well, it's a really nice way of keeping time when you're strumming, um, it's quite hard to do with, um, with just normal chords. So what we're gonna try and do is do some hammer-ons and pull-offs. So what I want you to do is uh, finger your C chord, okay? And we're gonna try... sounding really good. Now if we try doing chords with just claw hammer without doing any pull-offs it sounds a bit like this. Okay so just try that. That's what C onto the F. Back to the C. Then G. C. C7. F. Then onto the F, uh, F7. C. G7 to the C. Okay, so it should sound like this. Okay, so you'll notice I there was a little bit of a lack of rhythm and loss of flow really on that. And it's really difficult with Claw Hammer to get that rhythm going when you're just doing chords. So what I want to get your head around now is uh, hammer-ons and pull-offs, just to make the Claw Hammer uh, flow a little bit more. So what we're going to do, go back onto the C chord, okay? Just do that nice and slowly. And then just lift your finger off and then we're gonna hammer on. Okay, so that's a hammer on. 
and that's a pull off. Okay, so it sounds it will sound like this. Okay, so there's an extra note in there, but it's not made by by me doing this. It's it's made by me um, using the pluck I've already done uh, to pull uh, hammer on to the fretboard. Okay, so I'm going to do a hammer a pull off now. Okay, after my hammer on, so hammer on. So what I'm going to demonstrate now is um, a little claw hammer ditty which I composed and um, I'll put the tablature up on the um, up on the information under underneath here but it just demonstrates how much more a live claw hammer sounds when you're doing hammer ons and pull offs okay um, and the simple simple chord structure is um, is C, F and G really on here, okay, but um, here goes. Okay, so it's a lot more fluid isn't it so this is what I'm going to play now is what's on the tablature so I'll do it slowly and then um, I'll do it really fast 